Hey, so listen, we're having a couple technical difficulties, just the nature of being out here on the water. Here's what we see right here. I mean, give you a, a little close view right here. The Coast Guard's still right here, kind of a little bit uh, uh, just off. We have been brushed back a few times, or just maybe one time. Uh, but like, look, look at the span over here. As you can see exactly where the, the, the dolly is right here that's, that, is, that crashed into the, the pylon right there. That's, it's still, it's, it's just a, such a significant catastrophe. It's hard to really put the right words into it. But you're watching uh, uh, as we've kind of seen crews going in and out and around the, the cargo ship, still keeping track, searching for that. Is, and I, I think what we're going to see over the next couple hours, because uh, I, I can't really spin it around here, but we see a crane coming in through the Patapsco to, uh, we, we believe to be, it's going to be assisting in this. Off over there, you see the, the, the black hulled boat with the, uh, the yellow off to the side right here, or the, the Tanner thing. That's an Army Corps of Engineers boat. So you can see everyone that's in place for the next phase of this. We've heard they've called off the search and rescue. Um, we're still work, waiting on the reports for that. But just to see this up close and, and to know, you know, just what this means to the area, to the people, this is just, like I said, it's a staggering catastrophe to continue to look at. Uh, Edwin, my photographer, you can show the, the end over here, just above that green buoy. You can see the, the, uh, the green channel marker. You can see the the actual part of the bridge where it snapped off right there. This is just, this is one of the longest spans over uh, a single span, or was one of the longest spans over water in America. I mean, and now it's just gone. It's in the water. We were talking about it with the guys who were coming out here. You used to see the key bridge on the horizon. It was something just absolutely, you know, that was always part of the la a landmark of the area. Now, it, what, who, it's gone just in the water, mangled up, pieces of metal twisted around like it's a, you know, a model train set. It's just something you, you can't imagine having seen. Uh, that's kind of what we're seeing out here right now, kind of keeping an eye on this as we start to see this turn from search and rescue to uh, almost a scavenge, a scavenger or sort of like a, a cleanup effort that we think actually, Edwin, I'm going to ask you to keep spin this around. Let's just see if we can get them this over here. The crane off in the distance that's been slowly making its way down the bay. Give me, give us one second here, folks. Sorry, this is live TV. This is how this is going to work. This is the crane that we've been watching off on the horizon, uh, slowly coming in, and we believe this will be what helps to start the cleanup process here. If you can get a look at that, um, it, it's going to be a long effort. Past that is the Chesapeake Bay. Out in the bay, you've got cargo ships, you've got cruise ships, you have things that need to come into the harbor of Baltimore. They'll either be redirected to Philadelphia, maybe up to New York. It's hard to say what will happen. And then back here on the other end of the Baltimore Harbor, we have ships that can't get out. There's, if you check the Marine uh, app, there's a ship that's, I think it's Thai, on the other side that's not been able to get out. So it'll be stuck there. So that's one of the things, I mean, this is what we're seeing here. This has gone from you know, the search and rescue, all the, the, the Coast Guard. They've left the area. Now we're starting to see the, uh, the cranes come in. It's uh, going to be the beginning of a long, long, long time to get this cleaned up here. Back to you guys in the studio. I wanted to ask you if you can hear me. I, I know it's kind of tough to hear out there, but what are you seeing around the boat? You kind of described it a moment ago, but are they search boats that are going in and around the vessel? What what exactly is, if anything, happening around it? Mm. No, there doesn't seem to be search boats. If anything, it looks like what they're doing is sort of sizing up the area around the boat to see what parts they'll, uh, how they're going to actually pull the ship out from this mess right here. The Like I said before, the Coast Guard uh, helicopter is gone. It's not out right now. The Coast Guard boats that we're searching, they don't seem to be out. They're almost sort of just at this point, uh, it looks to me from just what I'm seeing, like they're just kind of holding their posts and circulating. There's a couple like fire boats and a uh, police boats, but there's no real active search going on. You can see over here, actually, Edwin, let's kind of go to the right, we'll show them over here. Uh, just off in the distance might be hard to see, but you can see there's a police boat and a fire boat. They're just kind of hanging out. They're no longer going in and out of the trestles looking for, or the trusses rather, looking to uh, looking for things. It looks like they're just sort of holding still. That's what we're seeing right here. All right, Matthew, again, thank you again. The NTSB is saying that is a 95,000 ton mm. container ship that you're seeing there. And of course, that bridge is roughly one and a half miles long. So you can imagine the wreckage that is going to come along with that. Matthew, stay safe out there. We'll be checking in with you for updates. Thank you.